the California Institute of Technology, two scientists, Mike Brown and Constantin Barrigan, have discovered that lurking in the remotest extremes of our solar system could be the ninth planet. Now, we've been saying that there's tons of things lurking around in our solar system. And while this isn't really based on any hard evidence, but on simulations and mathematical modeling, they seem to have discovered what they're calling as Planet X. In the region of the solar system, a little beyond Pluto, poor guy, he just got dismissed as a planet. But right there in that region, there seems to be this belt of icy orbs, do-off planets and other strange abandoned objects. This is known as the Kuiper Belt. Imagine like a conveyor belt which has a whole lot of abandoned luggage on it, which just seems to be going round and round for no reason and you're not really sure why it's there. Well, that's exactly what's been puzzling scientists for a very long time. Theoretically, what they have been assuming is that there must be some kind of gigantic planet a little beyond it which is causing these objects to move in their gravitational field. It seems that six of these different objects in the Kuiper belt, well, all six of them seem to be tipping and moving in the same direction. Now that's kind of weird because these objects, they're all made of different velocities and they all have separate paths. So then what is it that's making them tip? Scientists are saying that the chances of this not being a planet that is affecting them because of its gravitational force, well, those kind of chances are like 1 in 15,000. That's like a 0.007% chance. So then, it has to be a planet. <laughs> So this planet, Planet 9, Planet X, whatever you want to call it till they give it a proper name, it's 10 times the mass of Earth. It'll take 10 to 20,000 years for this planet to make its orbit around the Sun. While we all know that the Earth, it normally just takes only a year. And that also explains why this planet has this very unusually elongated non-circular orbit. To clinch the discovery of a planet, well, that normally takes like a couple of years. Naysayers and people are already dismissing the presence of this planet. What you have to realize is that this planet hasn't been physically observed through a telescope yet. But at the same time, you have to also realize that Neptune, which is one of the furthest planets that we have in our solar system, well, that was actually mathematically observed before it was discovered in 1846. Now getting to this planet, that would be quite a task. Of course you would need a spacecraft, preferably this one. You would be traveling at the speed of 16,000 miles per second and even if you did that, it would take you 59.3 years just to get there. Kind of like be really old, right, by the time you get to this planet then. Now walking on this planet, I don't think that would be really easy. This is the Earth's gravitational field and they're predicting Planet 9's gravitational field to be pretty much almost double. And lastly, it will be super, super cold on this planet. What they are predicting is that average temperatures on this planet would be somewhere around 20.5 kelvins. Convert that into degrees Celsius, that's minus 225. While this scavenger hunt continues, I'm just going to put a little thought out there. What if all the planets did become accessible? What if they were able to crack this code and make us breathe and live over there? Let your imagination run wild and tell me which planet you would love to go and live on. For me, I think it definitely would be Saturn. I've always been fascinated by the rings of Saturn and if I could just sit there and watch them all the time, I'd be pretty happy to do so. I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video and share this video. And if you've just joined us, welcome to the tribe. I'll catch you again soon. Ciao. My Sangeet, I'm supposed to wear red, not her! In the 90s, he wasn't making that much money as a record producer. So what he decided to do is sit down and observe the game of roulette. He was the first person to successfully exploit wheel bias in the 90s. Someone who's involved in this virtual world 24-7 can slowly start believing that his virtual friends are his real friends. And he doesn't really need real people for company anymore. That same example can also be extended to virtual porn stars.